What's going on YouTube, Wanye Films, back with another vlog. Actually, uh, for the past couple of days, these vlogs have been pretty much a vlog tutorial. I've just been releasing a new vlog tutorial every day for the past 12 days, so I figured I'd do something again here. Today is day 12 of Vlogmas, and I have a very special guest today. She's in pretty much almost all of the videos for the past 12 days. Well, not all of them, but Some. here and there. Pizza Queen Rach. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what I'm going to talk about today is how you can find music for your YouTube videos. So stay tuned. All right, tip number one, guys. If you want to find affordable music, this choice right here happens to be my favorite one. Get on YouTube and type in audio library. When you do that, it's going to come up with a list of pretty much all the music that they have that are uncopyrighted and are ready for use at the disposal of your fingertips. All you have to do is download the music and take it from there. I do use this like in almost every one of my vlogs. I go through uh, the playlists that are up on the site. I just download them and I save them into a folder onto a hard drive and uh, I use whichever one I feel is the best one for the video at the time. So yeah, that that being my favorite option, as I said, it's completely free. Why not? All right, moving on to tip number two. This also happens to be a free option, and that is to connect with artists that are in your area or even friends. If you have a friend that makes music, I'm pretty sure nine times out of the 10, they will be more than willing to let you use their music because it's actually free advertisement. It's free promotion. Why not? Yeah, go ahead, use my song. Other people that are, you know, subscribed to you will be able to hear it in the background and uh, you know maybe you can even leave you know a shout out to the creator or or a link on where you can find them so yeah that's always important uh I would actually put that number one, you know, contact a friend first and maybe if you like their music, if their music is, you know, worthy enough to put into your videos, then, you know, reach out and ask. And like I said, nine times out of 10, they will be willing to do it. All right, next tip number three, epidemic sound. Most YouTubers right now are on the epidemic sound wave. So I would highly recommend it. I myself, I just signed up for it. I have briefly used it in a few vlogs, a few vlogs back, but like I said earlier, in the video i i really have a, a a feel of using audio library on youtube i really like the music that they give out i need more time with epidemic sound so what they do is they they give you a 30-day trial to, to test it out if you like it you go ahead and subscribe after the 30 days are up uh they give you an option you can do starter for 15 dollars, and they also have an epic selection and the epic selection can get a little pricey i believe it's 100 yeah it's 150 dollars a month uh i wouldn't see why i would need that at this moment i mean i don't see why any creator would need to pay 150 dollars unless they're a big you know big time movie company then go ahead and you know do that but me personally i'm gonna stick with the 15 dollars for now until I uh, feel like I need to upgrade for whatever reason. Also with Epidemic Sound, you can download the songs or you can download the stems, meaning if there's words in the song that you don't want in a certain area of the video, you can take the words out and it will only play the instrumental for you. So I don't see why I wouldn't stick with Epidemic Sound. Also on top of that, you can save tracks you can save tracks as playlists and make playlists on them in your account so that uh that comes in clutch also it, you know it, it allows you to stay uh organized and whatever else all right that's all i have for right now um I use freemusicarchive.org and so in all my videos, that's the only music I use is from there. Um, it's totally free. There's a lot of like instrumental, you can look up different genres and I like it. I also want to like venture out and like look for different stuff, but it does have some good stuff. So you can definitely look around on freemusicarchive.org. All right, that's it guys. This, this, that's pretty much the, the basics of it. There, I'm sure there's other options out there. These are the options that I have at hand at the moment. So I will be back with probably more, but for now, this is what I got. You know, go ahead, I'll link it down below, all the options, and uh, we'll take it from there, all right? I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, go ahead, slap me a like, comment, let me know down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys.